Hi everyone, this is Amy with Key Delicious Life, and I just wanted to make a video. Um, I watched a video from Keto in Canada that she put out. And it was kind of a vent because she has been called out. And I don't know if you've watched her. I'll link her channel below. She's amazing. She is the reason that I started my keto journey. And she's also the reason I started my YouTube channel. I was so inspired by her. And probably I watched her at least a month before I even ever committed to starting keto. I was just watching her. And I kept going, oh my God, look at what she's doing. Look at this transformation. Look look at her. She's doing this. And I should be able to do this too. Why can't I do this, you know? And she just kept motivating me and inspiring me. And I finally just said, enough is enough. And I'm doing this. If she can do it, I can do it. I know I can. So I, she's one of my favorites. And so... Definitely check her channel out below if you haven't watched her yet. And I'll link her most recent video, the one with the rant. She basically has been called out, you know, over her whole journey. And she has lost, I don't even know her full uh, final weight loss, but she has done amazing. And she looks absolutely stunning. But she has been called out on her journey for using or drinking diet Cokes or diet sodas. So anyway, she has been called out for drinking diet Coke on her journey. And it's interesting to me when you have some of these keto police that come out and they think that they know the only right way to keto. And you should do what they say, but not what they do. I mean, it, <laughs> It's so annoying, so annoying. I have lost 40 pounds so far on my journey, um, drinking bulletproof coffees, having a little bit of Diet Coke here and there, um, you know, and I it, it hasn't been an issue for me. Has it slowed it down? Because I have never technically been in a stall. Has it slowed it down? Maybe. Has it put chemicals in my body? Yep, <laughs> it has. But, you know, there's certain things that it, it's your body, it's your journey. And I have cut back so much already on um, my diet. I have cut back diet sodas a lot. I, I have way less than I used to have. But when I feel like having one, I do. It, and I don't, I don't feel horrible about it. I have some. But I don't think anyone has the right to put out there a video about someone else's journey, you know, and telling them the first thing you need to eliminate are bulletproof coffees or diet sodas. That's just ridiculous. You know, if you're not even following your own advice, you shouldn't be giving it. Um, so yeah, I really agreed with her, her rant. I was, it, it was like, yes, you know, someone else actually is going through what I've seen and she's right it, it's no one else's business her journey is her journey and if you find something in your journey that you like to indulge in every now and then that is up to you it is no one else's job to correct you it is no one else's job to tell you hey that's not good for you you know <laughs> So just do your journey. So yeah, just do your journey how it works for you. Um, if, if you have to give up all the things that, you know, are help you get through the day, you probably aren't going to be able to stay on the diet. Um, you know, there's certain things you have to determine what are really good things for you to give up and what are some of the things that are okay and you can have them once in a while. And so that's the conclusion I've come to, is that I can't tell you exactly how to keto. I can give you what, what I've done and how I've done it, but I have a whole, I have a whole host of other 
health conditions involved in my journey, I have Hashimoto's, you know, and that creates a whole other element to my weight loss. It's not easy for me to lose weight in the first place. So, you know, and some people have other conditions that play in, that factor in. And it's just no one's job to say this is wrong or this is right. It's just, that's just not cool. You can't do that. Um, I mean, you can, but you're going to be pushing a lot of people away. And um, so, yeah, I think that you need to do what works for you and you need to experiment. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of so-called experts out there that will tell you, if you're stalled, first thing you got to do is cut this out or cut that out. And that, you know, like I've seen people saying the first thing you got to do is cut out bulletproof coffees. No, you don't. You, you need to look at your macros. You need to determine if you're going over on your proteins or your fats or your carbs are sneaking up on you. But it's all the same. It doesn't matter if you're stalled, you need to look at the whole big picture, not just target in on one thing. Um, you know, and if you're, if you're curious about a stall that you might be going through, um, you know, get a keto, uh, blood ketone tester and test your ketones. And after you've eaten the accused offender of why you're stalled, you know, cause maybe it's, that's, it's not that at all. Um, so I think people are just too quick to jump on this, you know, one thing that they want to target. And we just have to do what works for us. We really do. It's our journey. It's no one else's. And sometimes we need certain things to help get us through. I know her rant wasn't about stalls. Um, so I'm kind of mixing the two. I kind of went off on my own rant. But her rant is was primarily about people are literally coming onto her page and just blasting her because she has a diet soda. It's like ridiculous. It's like, come on people, look at her. Look at, look at what she's done with her life. She feels amazing. She looks amazing. She's a better mom because of it. She's a better person. She feels better. How can you blame one little thing, you know, it's none of your business in my in my opinion it's none of your business and maybe at some point she'll choose to give it up and that's not your business either so yeah I am with you all the way keto in Canada I forgot your name darn it it's on the tip of my tongue but anyway she's a sweet sweet person I love her to death so check her out and let me know what do you think there's a lot of keto police out there, and they're the first ones that I disconnect from because they do not know me, and they are not a doctor, and they don't know what I've come from, what I've been through. They just don't know, and so, yeah. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks so much for listening. You guys have a great one, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.